Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm going to have a layout here for you again today for the Just Nick Digital Cut Files Design Team. And I'm going to show you here the files that I used. I used the Summer and Take Me to Paradise files. And these are the cuts that I made from those particular cut files. So you can find those in the Just Nick Studio Cut File Shop and I'll leave the link in the description below so that you can access those easily. Now I'm going to start off for a base here with some embossed white cardstock from Stampin' Up. I'm just showing you that I've marked off a little area there for my photo, which I've printed in three and a half by three and a half in black and white. I just wanted to mark off where I wanted that photo to go so that I knew where to put my distress inks. So I'm go just going to use the packaging technique here with three different colors. I'm going to use some picked raspberries, some evergreen bow and some mustard seed. Now the thing with the regular distress inks is that they're very, very vibrant. So you don't, if you just want a tiny little bit of color, you don't need very much ink. You just need a tiny little bit. You'll just see that I'm hardly even putting any ink on that plastic and I'm just adding a little bit of water and I'm adding these three different colors in three different areas just to create a little bit of a background behind my photographs on this embossed paper. Now this embossed paper from Stampin' Up has, it seems like it has a little bit of a coating on it and it takes the Distress Ink really well. I didn't put any prime primer, no, I didn't put any gesso or anything like that on my paper. It's just the paper and this ink with a tiny little wee bit of water. So it warps a little bit, but not too badly. And I'm quite happy with the result in the end. So you can see that I have those three little areas where I want my color to be. And I'm just going to, um, you know, check it out and see if I think that's an, going to be enough color based on where my photograph's going to go and so on. I'm just getting rid of some of those little pencil marks there that I made to position my photograph. And now I'm just going to stick it back on there and decide whether or not I want more color. So at this point I'm thinking, yep, I want a little bit more of that evergreen bow up at the top. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of that up there so that I can uh, just make that a little more intense. So I'm going to be using some of the products as well as the cut files from uh, Crate Paper Oasis. And I'm trying to get that as much of that used up on my layouts um, as I go through the summer here so that I have that all finished up. I just, I find that if I don't use um, the products up in the season that I buy them sometimes they sit in my stash and, and they don't get used so I'm really trying to diligently use up as much of the collections that I bought this spring as I possibly can so and I really love this Oasis collection and you're going to see how I use that with that summer cut file um, as a, a backing the pattern paper as a backing for that cut file for my title here today so this is the paper that I'm going to use to back that summer title. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to trace around the outer edge, the outer outline of those letters. And then I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to cut it just inside the pencil line so that it's just the perfect size to fit in behind each of those different letters. So I'm just going to fussy cut around, like I said, just to the inside of the pencil line that I've created there. And then I'll know, I know that it'll be sure to fit the, the letters that I have. So I'm just going to flip the cut file over, put a little bit of a liquid adhesive on the back of the letter with my fine line bottle and just get enough adhesive on there so that my pattern paper is going to stick there. Get that stuck down. And then I'll do the same thing for all of the rest of the letters. So you can see how really pretty that looks. Now I really wanted this white um, base to pop off of the layout. So I've decided that I wanted to trim it down a little bit and back it onto some black cardstock as a mat. And I just really like how that finishes it off. So I'm just gonna size my black cardstock down a little bit here with my trimmer. I've just, I've made a, a, some little pencil marks on my black paper so that I know what size it needs to be. And so now I'm going to just adhere that white cardstock to that black base to make a nice little crisp frame around the outer edge of my white. So I'll just take my ATG gun here and add some adhesive and get that stuck down very, 
nicely and securely to that black paper, just leaving that little bit of an edge. So if you just hang on to your paper until you have it eyeballed and then you can let it go, um, it's really important not to let that stick to that ATG adhesive until you're ready to or you've got it positioned properly because you will not be able to separate that without destroying the paper. That ATG adhesive is very, very strong. So then I've taken the Oasis pattern paper with the little stamps on it and I have cut that, I've gutted it and I've cut it just so that it'll be a frame for my layout so that that matches up with the same pattern paper that's backing my summer title there. And I really like how that looks. I think it's um, just really complimentary to have those those two different uh, um, elements going together there. Now all of the other die cuts that I'm going to use here um, besides my cut files are from the Oasis collection. And you can see that I've got two of the cut files from the Take Me to Paradise uh, cut file on either corner of my photograph. So that palm frond and that really pretty flower um, I'm going to use on each of the corners of my cup of my photograph and I've cut those from gold glitter paper. I think I set my I think I set my um, blade at about seven to cut through that glitter paper. I find that even I like to I like to um, turn my blade up even a little bit farther than the suggested number on the blade for the paper for glitter cardstock just because I find that this paper is super heavy and I believe I had it set at I think it was eight so um, and that cut very well so I'm just taking the backing the release paper off of these different pieces of foam adhesive I, I really wanted to pop my title up onto some foam so that it's very dimensional and I love how this looks now I wasn't very happy with how I placed that on there. I thought it was just a little bit too high. So I end up moving that title down a little bit here in a minute. Now I've got my photograph backed on some black cardstock as well, just to complement that frame that I have around the white cardstock on the outside of the layout. And now I've just taken a couple of the Oasis pattern papers, one in pink and one in green, just to go along with the colors in the rest of the pattern paper on the layout. And I've just made a really simple mat on that photograph. So I'm just uh, taking a look at where I want to place things at this point. I've got the little cluster at the bottom right of the photograph just from some die cuts and chipboard stickers from Oasis. And you can see here that I moved the title down a little bit and the title is going to be Summer Trip, which is created with that cut file and then the puffy sticky sticker uh, phrase from Oasis it's which is gold I'm not sure if you can see that very well in the in the video here but the title is summer trip now I really love these glittery gold uh, cut file die cuts they're gorgeous and uh, just that really pretty pop of gold which I think just looks really really nice on the layout with the summery colors I really like this little flamingo sticker and I'm going to pop that um, on the corner or the side of my photograph here just making sure that I have that flamingo low enough so that it doesn't cover up too much of my die cut uh, from my cut file and I don't want my title covered up either. So I'm really liking how that's looking. I'm just taking a look at some of the other stickers from the sticker sheet and the chipboard sheet and thinking about what else I might like to add. I kind of wanted to add something to the other corner, the bottom left hand corner um, of the photograph as well and I decide to go with this big chunky camera. I think that's cute. Um, love the colors of that and I think the little gold glittery accents on that camera are perfect for the layout. Now I end up just doing my journaling on some cardstock I'm using my computer and I just print that off and cut it into strips and put that uh, next to my photograph in that white space that's left there. Just adding a little bit of Heidi Swap color shine and gold to finish off the layout. So more little sparkly gold pops on the layout. And I really like how this turned out, but you know why it's as nice as it is, is because of those cut files. I love the cut files from the Just Next Door. Make sure that you check them out and uh, just click the link below and um, check out all of Nicole's Noah Sad's cut files over in her shop. They're gorgeous and they really are a wonderful way to inspire you to create a layout um, that you will be working on. So thanks so much for stopping by my uh, channel today guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.
Bye-bye.